But the election fraud begins by this club deciding who is even the theater that they create, right? The left, right, it's all theater, okay? Bernie Sanders, oh my God, he's for the working people. No, he's a guy's never had a job. Ooh, Booby Kennedy is going to fight for medical freedom. No, wrong. He had everyone need to get vaccinated who came to his own home, right? He believes in quote unquote safe vaccines, which is all bullshit, right? He still believes in the right of the government to have a right to come into your body and jab you. All right. So they have all these people they have pre-selected and that's who they create the narrative. They're like puppets on a stage, puppets on a stage. So they are deciding which puppets get the stage, who gets the limelight on that stage from time to time, the drama that they create as though they're creating fake heroes. That's what these guys are doing. OK, it's quite fascinating. They do not want the real fighters ever on that stage. Because if the real fighter shows up, people are going to realize these guys are puppets and this is a real person. So they put a lot of effort, tremendous amount of effort, energy into making people invisible. Right. So that's one part of the election fraud. Who is voted for, but who counts the vote? So how yeah. are you going to bypass? The, let's say you actually do get elected. How do you stop them from just switching off the button to say, well, it's it's Trump. He's the he's the selected one. Uh, doesn't matter who got the votes. H how are you going to stop them doing that? Yeah, it's a good question. Look, what is revealed, you're asking a very fundamental question. The issue is the election fraud, if you think about it, begins, there's two election frauds, right? One is who they even give visibility to. That's, a, that's the biggest election fraud. Now, the problem they have with me is in 2020 and 2020, we, 20 about a half a billion people on the planet know about dr shiva and our movement so that when they try to suppress me people are wondering wait a minute why are, dr shiva is the one who started the fire fauci campaign dr shiva is the one who taught me about the immune system so they're sort of fucked in that way rick okay then among these puppets what they're really doing in the is who can bullshit the people the most it's like a beauty pageant they're running the beauty pageant that they're running is okay can booby manipulate people more or can Trump manipulate people more or can whoever. And manipulation means who will believe that they're actually going to do something for them. Okay. Who is going to, Trump did that, right? I'm going to drain the swamp. He didn't drain the swamp. He brought in the swamp. He perpetuated the swamp. He brought in John Bolton, who's a warmonger. He brought in his own Zionist son-in-law who made 2 billion bucks off the Saudis. Come on. How swamp can you get? So their goal is they're saying, Ooh, that guy's good. He knows how to pack a stadium. He knows how to make everyone wear these hats. Okay, we can use that guy because he just wanted to be an actor and Trump did want to be an actor, okay? He really doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He's controllable, okay? And we'll even create some controversy around him because the more controversy we create, people think he's their martyr. They create fake martyrs, okay? So that's the pre-election election fraud. Then during the election, once they figure out who they want, then they actually execute the vote counting fraud. OK, many ways that they can do it. The machines actually have the ability to do what's called a weighted race feature. You get a thousand votes. I get a thousand votes. I can multiply your votes by two minds by 0.5. And that's what occurred in Massachusetts. OK, they can then do other things, delete um, backup information so you can never check anything called the ballot images. That's called chain of custody, all right? They can make sure that everything is mail-in ballots. When the ballots come in via mail, that when you sign the signatures, that you don't really are checking the signatures. They hire novices, and they give them four seconds to ability to check a signature, right? And I expose that in our signature verification research project that we did, two of them, a pilot study and a detail study in Arizona. So they have two sets of fraud, Rick. So... To your question, how do you oppose this? As history shows, the only way to oppose this is to building a massive movement bottoms up. Now, if I hadn't run, Rick, frankly, the election stuff would never have come out because I did all the analysis. If I hadn't run, the world would not have known early on why Fauci was full of shit, the immune system work I did. If I hadn't run, people would not have known about the censorship infrastructure portal into Twitter and all social media companies. So think about the contributions just by the fact I ran and just by all the cheating they did, all the knowledge we got out. Now I'm running for president. 
obviously they're going to try to cheat. One of the biggest cheating is make me invisible. So if you go read when some of my posts do get out and others are take, taking our posts, people are saying, you will see more millions are understanding how they're doing this invisibility of a truly qualified candidate like me. I mean, come on, I'm the epitome of the American dream.